Let me make you hip to something, Pete. Guess what? This Bible, the Bible, the King James Version Bible, ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. So when I ask you who you are, you say you're a man. They tell me, you're a male. I can tell you're a male. You got a beard like a man. You understand what I'm saying? I know you're a man. But who are you in the Bible? Tears, got honey, like deer, 400 years. Remember the ways that made me a slave, still feel the boat rocking. All these hours, no clocking. Hard hands, soft cotton. Whoa, what you mean? What hey, uh, so when, he, when you woke up, you said you understood that Christ was a black man, right? What comes with that, though? Being a black man? No, knowing that the Messiah is black. Because uh, we're in the image of him. Yeah, okay. So, now what? Well, I'll just break it down later times. Uh, Give me Colossians chapter. My yeah. understanding is... Yeah. According to the Bible, you the Bible describe describe him. I am an a, a image, image of him. Right. Can I give you some help? I think I know exactly what you're trying to say. I want to give you some help. Give me uh, 2 Peter 2 and 21. I want to give you some help. Watch it. Because you look like your Messiah, you also should be doing the things that he did. That, that's the best way to put it? Okay. I got you. Is it 2 Peter 2 21? 2 and 21. 2 Peter. No, 1 Peter. 1 Peter 2 and 21. Give me, what's your name? Pete. Pete. Menahem. My man. Watch this. Come on. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 21. Uh -huh. For even here unto where ye call. It said, here unto where you call, Pete. Where you call. Read. Because Christ also suffered for us. Read. Leaving us an example. A what? An example. So, being and knowing the image, what he looks like, he said, that man, our Messiah, left us an example. Read. That ye should follow his step. That we should what? Follow his step. Now it said that we should follow his steps. What do you think his steps were? Does that mean to walk Jerusalem? Does that mean to walk on water? No. What exactly does it mean? We're going to read on this. Go ahead. Let me hear you. To live righteous, to live according to his word. Ah, you're getting it. Good. Read it. Who did no sin. Who what? Who did no sin. Read. Neither was God found in his mouth. Uh-huh. That's it? Yes, sir. So it said, who did no sin. My question for you is, what is sin? Because you said to conduct yourself righteously. Right. So what is sin? You want to... Uh... Follow his commandments. Follow with the rules that he laid out for you. Good, good. So you sound like you know that. My question to you is, are we supposed to be keeping commandments today? You're supposed to live your, your life that way. Good. Read what sin is right quick. The book of First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Come on. Whosoever committed sin, uh -huh. transgressive also the law. Meaning sin is the going against, the breaking of what? Of the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, does that mean that the laws and commandments are still in place? Yes. The, the commandments are always in place. Ah. What about the laws? Well, the commandments are the laws, so yes. You all right, Pete. That's right. You all right. That's right. So, my next question is, do you know who you are according to the scriptures? Yeah, as a man. I know my responsibility who I'm supposed to do as a man according to the scriptures. Okay. In the I Bible, you who are you I in the Bible? When I read the book of Timothy, it tell me what I am as a man, what my responsibilities and what my diligence, my, my uh, responsibilities are. So, okay. Yeah. Um, I want to show you some things. Is that all right? 
time. That's what I'm talking about, Pete. Give me Deuteronomy 28. First, no. first, give me Joel 2. I want Joel 2 and 27. Let me make it hip to something, Pete. Guess what? This Bible, the Bible, the King James Version Bible, ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody. So when I ask you who you are, you say you're a man, that's obvious. You a male, I can tell you a male. You got a beard like a man. You understand what I'm saying? I know you're a man, but who are you in the Bible? Because it says chosen, it says elect, it says peculiar. Who are you though? It also says Gentile. It also says Jebusite. It says all those names, but who are you in the Bible? Bring it out. That's what we out here to teach our people. Because guess what? In the church, they let us know that the people who look like this are the Jews and that we are the Gentiles. You know another word for Jews in the Old Testament? You know what they call them? Good. I probably show you, but I probably I wouldn't. I got you. I got you. They're called the Israelites. That's who they are. The Israelites. It's the truth. Now watch this. Look who God is speaking to to the entire time. Watch this. Come on. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Whoa, whoa, read it from the top, nice and slow for me. And ye shall know. It said, and ye shall know. Letting us know he's here to inform us because through a process of time, this happened, correct? This is our history. Because these things happened, we wound up worshiping another God. He said, now what? And ye shall know uh -huh. that I am in the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God, very possessive. He said, I'm the Lord, your God, read. And none else. No. Where you going now, Pete? I gotta come pick it up. Are you gonna come right back? I, I gotta go deliver it. I, yeah. Are you doing Uber Eats? Yeah. Oh, man. But, Pete, what did the Bible just say? Before you go, you can grab it. Before you go, what did it just say? Who's he the God of? I, I Marie, one more time go. while you going. Watch this. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, uh -huh. and that I am the Lord your God and none else. So the creator of the heavens and the earth is only the God of who? The world. No. The Israelites, Pete. Right. He ain't the God of everybody. There you go. He's right. only the God of the Israelites. That's blacks, that's Hispanics, and the Native Americans. I wish you could come. You need to stay, Pete. You're about to learn the best and greatest news you ever heard in your whole life. I will run into you again. You got that flyer? Yes, sir. Check us out, Pete. Most you can't. You cannot continue to walk around with that mindset anymore. You have to understand who you are and know what God requires of you. You understand what I'm saying? My man, give me Colossians 3. Go back there. Because guess what? We hear people very often understand and know that Jesus Christ is a black man. They understand that. They know what his image is like. They'll tell you his skin is bronze. His hair is like wool. But they do not repent of nothing. They will understand that their Messiah looks just like them, but they're so far from repentance. But in the same breath, they'll tell you, all things is possible through Jesus Christ. Right. Watch what the Bible says. Give me 3 and 10. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 10. Come on. And have put on the new man. The what? I put on the new man. Jump up to verse 8. Verse 8. Uh huh. But now ye also put off all things. Read. Anger, wrath, malice, uh -huh. blasphemy, uh -huh. filthy communication Read. out of your mouth. So he said, you must put all of those things off to become a new man. Now get to verse 10. 
and have put on the new man, Read. which is renewed in knowledge. Uh, so now you must be renewed in knowledge once you put off all of those things. Everything is now gone. There's no more anger. There's no more malice. There's no more envy, no more evil eye towards your brother. It says you must put on knowledge, read. It must put on the new man, uh -huh. which is renewed in knowledge. Read. After the image of After it. the what? After the image. Read. Of him that created him. It said you must do that after the image of him who has created you. The problem is you don't do that part. You only know that he's a black man. We're here to let you know you are greater than that. You are the best people walking the earth. But the problem is you're so discontinued from who you are. You don't mind being a consumer. We were engineers. We are inventors. But we're so far from our heritage. We're so far from our direct channel of intelligence that we walk around in a destroyed state. Read that again. Yes, sir. Verse 10, uh -huh. and have put on the new man, Read. which is renewed in knowledge, uh -huh. after the image of him that created him. So knowing his image comes with knowledge. It must come with knowledge. Knowledge is the understanding of God's laws. Give me that in Micah, in Malachi 2. They must go hand in hand. People always wonder, why y'all stand up here just talking colorism? Y'all always want to talk about color, 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 color. It is important according to the Bible. It is in the scriptures. Watch this, come on. The book of Malachi chapter uh -huh. 2 verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips uh -huh. should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law uh -huh. at his mouth. The knowledge that should come out of the priest's pastor's reverence mouth it's God's laws. That is what you're missing, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're missing the laws of God. And we come out to the highways and hedges to deliver that to you. Because guess what? Without it, you're lost. Without it, you're destroyed. You do not know which way to go. You continue to walk on in darkness. When the Bible says this, give me Exodus 18 and 20. It tells us exactly the way we should walk. But we do contrary. We are a rebellious and stiff-necked people. You would see unity in black men and drive past. You won't even stop to inquire what's going on. You've seen movement after movement and will not even inquire what's happening. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 18 and verse 20. Come on. And thou shalt teach them ordinances uh -huh. and laws uh -huh. and shall show them the way wherein they must walk. It said, God told Moses, teach them ordinances, teach them God's laws, and show them the way they must walk. Right. We're letting you know right now you're walking in darkness. It is high time that you awake out of sleep. Come out of your conditions. Come out of your mindset. That is what keeps you in a lower state. Breaking God's laws. Read it again. And thou shalt teach them ordinances uh -huh. and laws. Come on. And shall show them the way wherein they must walk. Read. And the work that they must do. Because Christianity tells you, just believe. Just believe and everything's fine. No. There is work you must do. Do That's you right. can't just walk around thinking anything that you want? That is not how God works. He is a man of action. A man of action. Give me that in Psalm. I'm Samuel. Or Samuel two and three. Watch this. For all you Christians in Christianity who just want to run your mouth. Oh, I know God. Oh, He knows my heart. Look what He says. Read that. The book of First Samuel. Chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. Talk no more so exceeded proudly. Read. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth. It's talking about your speech. Don't just run your mouth talking about, he knows my heart. All you have to do is believe, believe, believe. What is God of? Read. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Uh -huh. And by him, actions are way. What? Actions are way. There's things you must do. You must walk godly in this present world. You must live a righteous life. When you're not doing that, you are the devil that the Bible speaks of. What is the nation?
nation is men leading by example. 